This is the TV News, the industry's only daily video report. Brought to you by American Ingenuity TV. For all of your electronic marketing and creative needs, American Ingenuity TV is simply the solution. Welcome to the TV TV for Monday, January 25th, and here are today's top stories. You know the old adage, there's no such thing as bad publicity. Well, unless of course you're generating mountains of it by your very own hand. And that's exactly what has happened in the ongoing high profile range war of words between Keith Olbermann and fellow MSNBCer Joe Scarborough. Well now, MSNBC president Phil Griffin He's mad as hell and he's not going to take it anymore. Griffin has put the hammer down on this family feud, issuing an internal memo slash edict that in part reads, and I quote, I want to reiterate my long-standing policy. We do not publicly criticize our colleagues. This kind of behavior is unprofessional and will not be tolerated, unquote. And that should be the end of that but somehow we're not convinced. Now turning to our international desk. China has lashed out at Secretary of State Hillary Clinton and the United States following her speech that blasted China regarding their lack of freedom of information on China's internet. Access by the Chinese people to social media websites remains continuously and conspicuously blocked by the People's Republic of China. Say that five times fast. The head of the Beijing Association of Online Media flamed at America, quote, how China's internet develops and how it is managed are China's people's own affairs. China doesn't need any internet lessons from the United States, unquote. Anticipated U.S. reaction to this flame? Delete. And continuing with new media news on the international front, if you believe in the power of social media religiously, then you're in lockstep with Pope Benedict XVI, who has added an 11th commandment to his clerical rank and file, thou shall blog. Now this latest edict is in line with the pontiff's New Testament media campaign that includes a Vatican-driven Facebook channel and Pope to you Facebook and iPhone apps. No word yet on when or if his eminence will launch on Twitter, but in the meantime, let's all tweet for digital salvation. Amen. And finally, speaking of small miracles, three million New York metropolitan area Cablevision subs are once again enjoying a good home and good food. This is because the Scripps Network's Cablevision war is over, with both HGTV and Food Network fully restored. No details were released regarding the new agreement. Now, in another carriage dispute, Scripps and Time Warner Cable remain at odds nearly one month after the old agreement expired. Mercifully, all Scripps content remains on Time Warner Cable Systems, for now. Here now is a message from way out there, The Tonight Show of the Paranormal, a unique and cost-effective unscripted series available for your network. Elvis has reportedly been found Dead in the DCU's car parking lot. Yeah. Shut up, I think it's a bunch of bull Show us the ghost. What's that down there? Why did we notice it now? Oh. You're unbelievable. There was a UFO right there. It's coming right, coming right up. We're gonna report the sighting we just had. Uh, uh, the residue? Yeah. You're unbelievable. No anal probes. What's the point of that? <laughs> <laughs> the Big Picture is brought to you by Sando Communications. Sound judgment, solid credibility, and superior results. This is Sando Communications. Here now, the Big Picture. Nearly half a million dollars. That's how much has been raised so far to help Haiti begin to recover from the horrific earthquake disaster. And we hope that this is only the beginning. We at the TV News.TV feel compelled to thank the entire TV and new media industries. You 
have been instrumental in getting the message out and putting an instant infrastructure into place to start the process of helping our brothers and sisters in Haiti. To all the news networks, to all of the participating networks in Hope for Haiti Now, to George Clooney et al., to the amazing talent who let it all hang out in Friday's telethon, to all of the websites, the social networks, and each and every person in the industry who spread the good word about how to help Haiti, we offer our most profound thanks. And last, never least, to anyone and everyone who contributed even a dime to alleviate the human suffering in Haiti, we offer our most heartfelt thanks. Thank you. This exclusive presentation of the TV News is brought to you by Eric Adler Research, your remote research director and sales strategy partner. Log on to ericadlerresearch.com today. Time now for the Monday Funday TV Trivia Quiz. Did you see the Jets-Colts game yesterday? 41 years ago, these same two teams met in Super Bowl III. And of course, Joe Willie, I was Bobby Brady's idol, and I just want to kiss you, Susie Colber, Namath. He was the hero for the victorious Jets. But who was the starting quarterback for the heavily favored Colts who choked, choked, choked? Email your answer to mondayfunday at the tvnews.tv. The first correct answer we receive will win a free billboard for their company right here in this slot. So get a move on and email your answer and win. And by the way, I still don't recognize the merger. I want to kiss you. Future events and opportunities brought to you by Dude Walker. Get the best voice. Get the best price. Get Dude at DudeWalker.com. We want to remind you that tomorrow, former TV marketing pioneer turned new media expert John Leland joins the TVNews.TV as he presents his New Media, New Marketing report, and that promises to make some sense out of our new three-screen world. Hey, got any nonfiction program ideas that you want to pitch? Then you want to check out the Real Screen Summit. It happens in just one week, February 1st through the 3rd in Washington, D.C. For more information, log on to summit.realscreen.com. And that's about it for today's edition of the TV News. We really want you in our feedback loop, so please join us on LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter. We've got some dynamic conversations happening. I'm Jeff Grimshaw. Thanks for watching, and go out and make it a good day. The TV News has been brought to you by American Ingenuity TV. For all of your electronic marketing and creative challenges, American Ingenuity TV is simply the solution.